Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear. And today we're looking at the Top Don ODB2 scanner. The guys and gals over there sent me this. Kind of out of the blue, they just sent me an email, asked me if I wanted to evaluate some tool they had. And I just kind of said, like, fine. I didn't know if <laughs> if they were legit or anything. I sent them my, my post office box and look what showed up. Actually, I was going to do this before I went up to Montana. And it actually got lost in the packing. And I just found it as we're unpacking the uh, the trailer for the last the last bits. So anyway, it comes here in this really nice uh, semi-rigid case. I really like these kind of cases. Now I have opened this just to see if everything's in there, just to make sure it is what it, I thought it was. But I haven't used it. This is my first time plugging it in everything. And you open it up, you get a nice USB cable, you got your manual, and you've got a USB card reader. So you can take the card out of it. You fold open the flap and you get the top don itself. ODB, ODB, was it OBDC Can Elite, whatever that means. I gotta admit, the uh, the bear is not a mechanic. I play around, I do some stuff with vehicles, but I'm not a registered mechanic. Uh, I know a bunch of you guys are, and uh, please feel free to chime in in the comments. Let you know, let everyone know what you think about this. So this is the actual device. It's pretty basic. It's nice. There's your ports for USB and for the card reader. And that's the back of it. It's got a nice long cable attached to it. So I'm going to, got the vehicle off. I'm gonna try and plug this in one hand. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna let you guys stare over at the wall over at Sunset Spa. Let me know what you think about Sunset Spa in the comments. And, cause I'm gonna need two hands to plug this thing in. Cause I always manage to try and do these things backwards for some reason. All right, there we go. All right. Let me hop in here. I'll hook that right there. Almost back. And we're back. All right. What's it say here? ODB2 diagnosis. Review data tool setup. We got to turn on the vehicle, it says. Get some air flowing. Oh, be quiet. That's one of the other things I don't like about my Ram that the stereo kicks on as soon as you get in the vehicle. All right. And the turn signal's on for some reason. There we go. Okay, let me pull this down so we're not getting as much sun there. Maybe it'll be easier for you guys to see the screen there we go diagnosis review data set tool setup all right okay we'll see the button layout is a bit odd we got up down left and right I would have expected it to be more of a typical cross pattern but it's not too hard to figure out so we'll go to diagnosis click OK and it's running. We got ML status is off. Diagnosis supported. Ignition spark. So we're gonna scan down. Nope, doesn't seem to be anything else here. All right, hit the back button. Sorry, this cable is trying to wrench it out of my hand. Let's see here. That didn't seem to do anything. Whoops. Sorry. Are you sure you want to S exit the diagnostic function? Yes, I am. All right. We have review table, tool, tool setup. Okay. Unit of measure, record mode, language. Da da da. Help. Diagnosis. Da da da. TTCs in the ECU. 
readiness not supported two I'm not sure that is data stream supported 48 sorry I have my glasses on let's see here race codes I am data stream freeze frame OS O2 sensor test onboard monitoring onboard monitoring See what you can do there. Evap purge flow. Well, I, as you can see, this is way more of a tool than I would use. Um, you know, for me, I'm usually just using it to see codes to diagnose basic stuff like whether it's something I can fix myself, whether it's the gas cap that needs to get uh, put back on, uh, or whether it's you know something I need to take to a mechanic. Uh, and then if I take it to a mechanic, if he's, you know, being honest with me. Oh, yeah, since they started putting computers in cars, you, they pretty much started outpacing the, uh, the bear. As much as I know about computers, and I know a good bit about cars, you start adding computers to cars, that's, that's where I kind of left off. Anyway, there you go. It's got a, it's got a nice hand, you know, feel in the hand. It seems to be a really solid piece of equipment. I mean, you could definitely bang this thing around. Uh, it seems like it wouldn't have any issues. Um, it's, as I said, it's way more tool than I am used to. I've got a great case and and other information that comes with it. I want to thank the, the people over at Top Done who sent this to me. Uh, they said they were going to send me a coupon code, and they did. Actually, they did send me a coupon code, and yeah, I think it has since expired. So I'm going to send them an email, and when they, when they send that coupon code, I will post it as a top comment in the messages. Or if you want to email me at red at red-beard.com, uh, I will respond with the uh, with the coupon code from Top Don if you're interested. Uh, thanks a lot, guys and gals. Again, if you are a mechanic and uh, you know about this tool or you know what you saw on the screen more than I do, which isn't saying much, please comment below what you think. If you saw something about the tool you want to know more about, I'd be happy to do a follow-up video uh, with somebody uh, who had specific questions. So let me know. Take care, and as always... Shine on.